What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today we are talking about CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk 2077 and the incredibly controversial launch of this game. Now, Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the most anticipated games in recent memory. The hype for this game has been out of this world. There has been a lot of attention paid to this game. The game was delayed several times. There was controversy surrounding Crunch. A lot of things surrounding this game. And then there was a lot of speculation that it would be delayed into 2021. And a lot of people felt that it definitely would be delayed into 2021 based on everything that was happening. But surprisingly, here they are and they released the game. And the game has been very mixed depending on what platform you are playing on. Whether that be PlayStation 4, a base model, a base model Xbox One, whether you have a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X, then you move up to the next gen consoles, the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, or if you have a high performing PC, then you're going to have a different experience across the board. And people have been posting screenshots, people have been showing their experiences, and it's becoming to be a huge problem, and they have finally addressed it at 2 a.m. Central Time, 3 a.m. Eastern, they posted this tweet right here, addressing all of the controversy, and we're going to read it. So here it is. First of all, we would like to start by apologizing to you for not showing the game on base last-gen consoles before it premiered, and, in consequence, not allowing you to make it make a more informed decision about your purchase. We should have paid more attention to making it play better on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Now, this is a big problem because they actually advertised it saying... So, uh, Cyberpunk 2077 runs surprisingly well on current gen consoles, according to CD Projekt CEO. There was also this CD uh, Cyberpunk 2077 dev reassures the game will be amazing on PS4. These are big problems, especially when you look at all of the limitations they were putting on reviews and footage that could be shared. Ryan Kennel from RK Outpost, part of the Geeks and Gamers team, has got some great information on this. He's been following it very closely, so please go over, subscribe to his channel, and check out what he has to say because he's been doing a good job of covering it. But back to this. Second, we will fix bugs and crashes and improve the overall experience. The first round of updates has just been released, and the next one is coming within seven days. Now, this is why this game should not have released. It clearly should not have released. This game has been released broken, and they are facing the consequences. Expect more, as we will update frequently whenever new improvements are ready. After the holidays, we'll continue working. We'll re uh, release two large patches, starting with patch number one in January. This will be followed by patch number two in February. Together, these should fix the most prominent problems gamers are facing on last-gen consoles. We will be informing you about the contents of each patch ahead of their release. They won't make the game uh, on last-gen look like it's running on a high-end PC. Uh, spec PC or next gen console, but it will be closer to that experience uh, than it is now. Finally, we would like, uh, we would always like everyone uh, who buys our games to be satisfied with their purchase. We would appreciate it if you would give us a chance, but if you are not pleased with the game on your console or don't want to wait for updates, you can opt to refund your copy. For copies purchased digitally, please use the refund system on PSN or Xbox, respectively. For boxed versions, please first try to get the refund at the store you bought the game. Uh, should this not be possible, please contact us, blah, 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 blah. We will do our best to help. Starting from today, you can contact uh, for us for a week up until December 21st, 2020. Humbly, yada, yada, yada. PS PC gamers will also be getting regular updates and fixes to improve the game. Now, I want to be clear. Um, a lot of respect. A lot of respect to CD Projekt Red for releasing this statement. This is a, this is a good statement, and I appreciate them. Uh, much respect for this. But then there's a little bit of a problem with this, and that is they are hiding replies. This is never a good look. You already are finding yourself in a bad situation. Hiding replies makes things even more complicated. 
And I was ready just to say, great job. Now, I own the game. I have purchased this game twice, okay? So I have plenty to say. I have purchased this game on PC and on PS5. I have purchased this game twice. My experience on PC has not been great, but to be fair, my PC is not really up to a Mark the Cyborg standard gaming machine, and I am buying a new PC. It will be here in a few days, and I'm pretty confident that the PC I have coming will run the game a lot smoother, but I still have a PC, and I'm having problems. Now, maybe I just need to update my drivers, but I have since started playing on my PS5, and the experience of my PS5 has been much better. It has been much better. Um, but I do have two different purchases and two different experiences, and I've experienced more of the game on PC than I have PS5 up to this point. Um, but when you are in this position where you're having to release a statement, when you're hiding replies, that is never a good thing. It doesn't matter what the replies are, because you can still see the replies! What are the replies? Why have these been hidden? I don't know. They're not that bad, but the fact that they hid these replies where people can highlight it, it doesn't make sense. Interesting tweeting this at 3 a.m. so you don't get roasted. Game's a disgrace. Thanks for nothing. Why hide that reply? Can anyone give a good reason why that reply was hidden? That is not a good look. The next one. So will you be patching uh, in the 90% of the game that got cut all the content that's missing? Um, I'm not really sure, like, uh, why, I don't know why they would hide this. Why would you hide either one of these? What is the point? Even people are saying, why did the damn, why did they hide this? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, it really doesn't make sense. And why have they hid this? I, I really don't understand it. Um, but besides, yes, they are in Poland, so, but when you say 3 a.m., they're not on your time, but the point is, why did they hide it? I don't understand. Yes, this is a problem for CD Projekt Red, a, a company who has a lot, they have a lot of respect, a big mega fan base. Um, you know, I accused them of, of going woke, uh, last year when, uh, some things were released about the game. No, I don't think the game ultimately went woke. And I heard from their fans, uh, they have a very passionate fan base. Rightfully so. If you've earned that fan base, I'm happy. Um, but these are some big problems. This game absolutely should not have been released. I think that that can widely be considered, uh, a, a very popular opinion at this point. Uh, it's not to say the game is bad. I'm sure this game is going to be a wonderful experience once you get into it and once all of the patches are there, but uh, ultimately this game should not have been released. It should not have been released. This is a bad look for CD Projekt Red. Uh, this is the most anticipated game in recent memory, and it's releasing with a lot of bad PR, and it's going to follow them. And I think that, that is, uh, that's a sad thing because a lot of people wanted this game to be the next uh, big game. And obviously... Uh, there's a lot of similarities with The Witcher. Now, I didn't play The Witcher, but a lot of people have talked about the launch of The Witcher and how it was a, a very buggy game and had a lot of problems and ultimately with patches and, and getting things fixed. Most people would consider The Witcher one of the greatest games they've ever played. Again, I can't speak directly to that because I haven't played it, but a lot most people that have played it ha uh, have speak very highly of that game. I believe Cyberpunk 2077 will be in a similar uh, fashion, but... The fact is, is this game came out with far more hype than Witcher 3 and, and any other game that I can remember um, in the last few years, and this launch is not a good look for them. So we'll see. But when you make statements like this, when you say it runs surprisingly well on current-gen consoles, when, when you say it runs am will be amazing on PS4, and now here you are having to release this statement, and then on top of that, you're hiding strange replies that I don't understand why. Why are you hiding replies? people can click on it and still see these two comments. These two comments would be nothing. Nobody would even pay attention to these, but you hit them, so you put emphasis on them. I don't understand what they're trying to do here. Uh, what do you think? What has your experience been with Cyberpunk 2077? We have Lethal Lightning, who's on the Geeks and Gamers team, and he has had a very bad experience. He has a base PS4, and he has had a horrible experience with this game. Uh, again, I have a PS5, and I have a, a, a PC that doesn't really run up to standards, and I haven't had the greatest experience on my PC. PS5, 
different experience. My experience with PS5 has been pretty good. But you've seen people, Young Rippa. Young Rippa's been out there showing his game just consistently crashes over and over and over again. We've heard from people that are on PC and their games are crashing. The Metacritic score has not been very kind right now. Unfortunately, we have to say that this has been a, a really bad launch for CD Projekt Red. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later. Thank you